Hi there, welcome back to YouChat tutorial. And in this video, I will show you part one differences among three subflow types, and part two how to use workflow, part three how to use function flow. Firstly, in one of your flow, click the subflow name from the navigation bar, then new subflow, choose one of them, give her name, then you can create them accordingly. Okay, then part one differences. The first subflow is general subflow. This one varies in flow types. For example, I am building a Facebook flow. So here you see Facebook subflow. And this is all the steps that you can use in a general subflow. The second one is workflow. So imagine a situation that um, you are collecting some information from user or request requesting some information and you need to do make API calls and you know API calls take times and this might delay the conversation which result in like bad user experience so by putting those action in uh, a workflow then the system will run it at the back end without influ influencing the front end since and also since it's working at the back end side so you won't see same message or questions that have this kind of interaction in it and the last one is function flow this one is used to process some task that you need to repeat again and again by putting those uh, steps in the function flow then you can call it everywhere you need uh, this one is basically as same as a general one except from the output step I will explain this uh, later in the example okay so part two I will show you three workflow example uh, representing three different ways to run a workflow so the first one is trigger it so in this workflow click star Oh, let me just remove it first. So add here to add a trigger. Um, for example, subscribe to a sequence. Uh, activate it. Choose the sequence name at any condition if needed. And then, oh, and then save. So add as many action as you need, like the basic operation, uh, external request to call API, integration updating database add to mailchimp this and also your mini apps if needed and sending notification and after that publish it so in the main flow for example i uh, put the subscribe button here so once the user click this button and I will guide them to this action. So in the action, I subscribe this user to this sequence. So this is saying that after this button pressed, this action will be done. And once this action done, the workflow that we just made, workflow one will be run at the backend. And the second way is to call the workflow so there uh, you can call it at many places for example keywords you can add some of keywords and put your workflow here so you call it or in the sequence you call it like this or in the triggers you can add some triggers then add your workflow here so this one is created on uh, in workflow one since we uh, you know whichever method you use you create the workflow first then add it to tree then add a trigger or add the trigger first then assign a workflow to it both we do and you might also call it from widgets for example QR code choose your workflow so this means that by scanning this QR code your user can uh, run this workflow yeah that's and the third way to call a workflow is go to it again in the main flow 
for example, this talk to human button, you can just link it with a go to button and then go to the workflow. But you might also want to add a little bit of prompt before that. For example, saying no problem, I have sent a notification, please wait, and then the go to. Well, this is because uh, there is no interaction, no prompt at all in the workflow, so um, you know, so this helps the user understand that uh, what is happening, and yeah. Okay, finally, part three, function flow. For example, this get user information function flow. So when I come in, uh, I will check uh, user info has any value. If yes, I will. Okay, let me show you. So if it has any value, I will link it to an output, and I will call it. Or I will call it already done. So and if there is no value in uh, the user info then i will link it to a couple of question steps like can i have your name can i have your email address can i have your phone number this and this and finally i will set it to the finish output publish it go back to main flow so for example when user reserve link it to go to our function flow so now you see the difference so for other go to flow, they just go to it and nothing's coming back. For uh, function flow, all the outputs will be listed here and you can handle it as you want. So for finish, if we already collect in, uh, all those information, we can sending a message, for example, please confirm your information, is that correct or not, or do you want to change it? And if user just finished collecting information, then you can go to the next step, like uh, checking the time and this and that. Yeah, that's all in all. If you are uh, just organizing your steps, then you can use the general subflow. And if you wanted to make something that run at the back end and no interaction needed, then you can use workflow. And finally, if you wanted to repeat part of the flow for many times and you you can put it in function flow yeah and that's basically all about it thank you for watching the video see you in next video